Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Demos in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in their system. Without further ado, let's get into this. So this system is called the Stellar Binary System. So without further ado, let's get into this. It should already be on the workshop ready for us. There it is. Okay, cool, cool. Right, let's see what they have prepared for us here. Okay, right. Ooh, okay. You can see some warmer asteroids closer to the star there. I like that effect. That really makes some cool effects. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay. Ooh, all right. So, how much reading we got? Uh, okay. Right, so, <coughs> excuse me. Right, a stellar A, a yellow dwarf star. It's a celestial body similar to our star with a mass of 1.06 solar masses and a radius of 1.1 solar radii. It radiates a warm yellowish light located approximately 12 light years away. This star offers a tantalizing glimpse into potential for future Earth flight planets within the Hattable Zone. Cool, okay, so. We've got Stellar B, we're going to, we need to go to Stellar A first. So where are we over here? There's the barrier center in the middle there. Okay, hello. Right, so. We're looking at the wrong star, so this is Stellar A. Cool. Right, so first on to the planets. Here it is. It's a gas giant with a atmosphere effect. Okay, so he's got two planets combined together, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Makes the good effect. Right. I, honestly, I really want this to be a legitimate thing that you can do to gas giants. I want that atmosphere effect because getting that thicker atmosphere with the glowing gas giant clouds, look how cool it looks. It looks really good. That is my one... Thing I'm screaming and crying for for the Universe Sandbox team to add is gas giant atmospheres. Just to add that extra effect to it, it just would make customization so interesting. Um, right, anyway, so Stellar AB, the first planet discovered in the Stellar A system. It is a fascinating gas giant with a mass of 0.25 times that of Jupiter and a radius 1.07 times larger. It shares a similar size to Jupiter but has a significantly lower mass. This discrepancy is due to extremely short orbital period of 4.3 days, which has resulted in tidal locking. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. One side of the planet is permanently facing the star, reaching scorching temperatures of 900 degrees Celsius, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness, plunging to frigid temperatures of minus 110 degrees Celsius. This extreme temperature difference has caused the planet to lose a significant amount of mass over time. Additionally, stellar AB poses a remarkably thick atmosphere, um, approximately 950 times the mass of Earth's atmosphere. This sense of atmosphere plays a significant role in shaping the planet's extreme climate conditions. Very interesting. Okay, there it is. Look at the star. Okay, yeah, I like it. You know, I, I really do like the, the, the atmosphere effect on the gas giants. I really wish we could have this normally. Because, you know, it just, it just, look, you know, you've got the atmosphere. It just adds that little extra haze to it. It can really make the world look good. There you go. That's the gas giant underneath. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a good start. We like that. Right, next up, we have got AC over here. So let's have a look. Okay, the second planet. It's a fascinating world of 0.9 times that of Earth and a radius 1.1 times larger. It possesses a remarkably thick atmosphere composed of almost entirely of nitrogen with a mass 70 times that of Earth's atmosphere. This dense nitrogen envelope creates a unique environment on the planet's surface, shaping its climate and geology. One of the most intriguing aspects of stellar AC is its moon, which bears a striking resemblance to the planet itself. Scientists speculate this moon may have been once part of the system... Uh, where are we? Um, part of the planet breaking off um, during a catastrophic event in the distant past. The moon's close proximity and similar composition to the planet further support the hypothesis. A hypothesis, sorry. So, interesting. There's the moon. Let's turn off um, edit mode. There you go. Looking good. Okay. Little mini me of the big planet there. So, there we go. Planet itself. Looking good. There it is. Nice. The little moon's got a very wild orbit <laughs> by the head customization there. All right, next up we've got AD over here. Greener world, hey, hey, okay. A promising Earth flight planet orbits within the Hattable zone of its star, Stellar A. With a mass of 1.06 times of Earth and radius 1.13 times, it shares many similarities to our home planet. Its atmosphere is a striking shade of green, hints at a unique chemical compositions and potentially exotic life forms. However, the planet's extreme weather conditions, characterised by powerful hurricanes and winds reaching speeds of 2.3 km a second, pose significant challenges to potential colonisation efforts. One of the most intriguing aspects of Stellar AD is its moon, a celestial body with a radius of 2,300 km, so it's quite a large sized moon, really respectable, there it is. Scientists speculate that this moon may have been a part of the planet itself, torn away by a catastrophic event in the distant past. The moon's close proximity... I'm being the right one, aren't I? Am I going mad? We... we... 
Oh, okay, so actually, no, it does actually say the same thing on AC and AD. Interesting. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't going mad. I thought I was going mad there. So I knew I'd read that already. So there it is. So similar between both of these. Maybe you copy pasted the descriptions wrong. Who knows? I don't know. But there we are. Either way, interesting nonetheless. So there we are. He did say he had a bit of issue with the saving on his system, so maybe that could have been why. But um, there, there it is. Cool. Right, next up, we're heading to AE over here. A super Earth of a mass 2.4 times that of Earth and 1.13 times larger is a fascinating world with an extremely slow rotation period of 55 Earth years. Ooh, 55 years to no rotation! Ho oh, ho! A lot of moons. One of its most intriguing features is its moon, AED. So we've got AED here. There's a binary going on there. What is this? All right. So there's AED there. This moon, which is comparable in some dwarf planets, possesses a small amount of water and even rivers, suggesting the potential for unique geological processes and perhaps even simple life forms. The dynamic, even. Uh, the dynamic uh, nature sorry, of AE system is further highlighted by the potential orbital instability of stellar AEC, another moon, so you can see, oh yeah, scientists speculate that they may eventually collide, or uh, moon D may even be ejected from the system, becoming a rogue planet or dwarf planet. Okay. If a person were to spend 55 years on stellar AE, given its 55 rotational period, they would experience one full day and night cycle, so... When they return to Earth, they would have only have aged 55 years, while 55 Earth years would have passed on Earth. Okay. Yeah, very really interesting. Yes. So, <laughs> so think about it. If it takes 55 years for it to completely rotate once, effectively you're only going to see a maximum of two day and night cycles if you say you lived to 110 years old. <laughs> You'd only see... So half your life would be in the little, yeah pretty much half your life would be light half your life would be dark pretty much and it'd be long periods between the two so that'd be yeah, that'd be pretty uh, pretty mad probably best to keep on the day side keep moving <laughs> so there you go interesting so there you go you got AE over there right next up we've got AF. Right, it says this is a fascinating consequence of the planet's extremely slow rotation. It highlights a diverse range of planetary conditions that can exist. Yes. Right. So next up we've got AF, an all blue looking uh, looks like an ocean world. So uh, AF is a fascinating water world, primarily covered with vast oceans and only small land masses. Its moon stellar AFF is equally intriguing, being a water world itself with a purplish atmosphere and oxygen-rich environment, which is this one. Okay. Nice. It shares striking similarities with its parent planet, however, the moon's low mass poses challenges for long-term habitability. The weak gravity could make it difficult to retain an atmosphere and liquid water over extended periods. Very cool. Okay. Let's have a look at the other moons as well. These ones don't have a description. It looks to be pretty bog standard. Let's have a look. There's the planet itself. Yeah, they're all little minor asteroids, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, cool. So there's those guys. Right, so now we're heading to AG. Over here. So there's the Ash Desert Asteroid Belt as well. So we've got a gas giant, a colossal size. Really mad. Okay. Ooh, interesting colours. Right. It's a colossal gas giant. It's the first planet formed in the Stellar A system um, with a mass of 14.6 times that of Earth and radius 3.9 times larger. It dominates the system's outer reaches. Its vibrant atmosphere characterized by swirling bands of color, hints at powerful storms and dynamic atmosphere processes. Stellar AG is orbited by eight moons, including its largest moon, Stellar AGB, which is this one. That's a huge, I mean, compared to the gas giant, that is a pretty large moon. How big is this? 0 0.7 Earths in size, and this guy's only three, okay. So that thing's almost 25% the size of um, the gassy there. That's a that's a pretty enormous moon. Right. It's pretty large. Let's have a look underneath. There it is. It's got some oceans. Okay. Righty. Interesting. A big moon there. I mean, mean business. And the rest are asteroid minor moons. Okay. Cool. Right. There's the asteroid belt. Now we're taking a huge jump. So we're going all the way to the other star. So Stella B over here. There's that barrier center in the middle somewhere there. The center of point of gravity. So Stella B. A red, uh, a red giant. Oh, it's okay. It's a pretty big one. A red giant, a mass of 3.5 solar masses, and a radius of 3.7 solar radius. 
Its celestial body nearing the end of its life cycle in approximately 40,000 years has started to expect it to shed its outer layers form in a standard planetary nebula. After expelling its outer material, the remaining core will contract into a dense white dwarf, eventually cooling down billions of years to become a black dwarf. And so far, none of these actually exist yet because the universe just isn't old enough for us to have seen any black dwarfs just yet, and spotting them probably ain't easy if they are. There, but there we go, so Stellar B. Right, so, Stellar's asteroid belt. So, we've got the first set of stuff here we get to the first planet you can see some of the particles are hotter than others uh, closer into the star you can see the orange colored ones so the asteroid belt is a fascinating feature of the system located in close proximity to the star with an inner edge of 0.4 AU and an outer edge of 0.9 it presents a unique environment for planetary formation scientists speculate that the dense con uh, saturation of material in this belt could lead to the emergence of new planets potentially similar to stellar BB uh, the gravitational interactions between the asteroids and the star could gradually draw these objects together, forming large bodies that may eventually evolve into planets. This intriguing possibility highlights the dynamic nature of planetary systems and the potential for ongoing formation and evolution. Nice. So Stellar BB here. Hot rock, very hot rock. Closest uh, planet to the red giant. Scorching world mass 0.4 times, radius 0.7 times surf. Its proximity to the star results in a blistering surface temperature of 1400 degrees, making it an inhospitable environment for any known form of life. This intense heat likely shapes the planet's geology and atmosphere, creating a unique and extreme planetary environment. So there it is. Pretty hot, don't go there. Right, next up we've got BC. Over here, a little further out. Still got oceans. A remarkable Earth like planet orbiting the red giant star, with a mass uh, 1.07 times Earth, radius 1.06. It boosts a thick atmosphere composed of argon, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapour, leading to a temperate climate and abundant water. Its 25-hour rotation period suggests a dynamic climate and potentially strong weather patterns. With a life likelihood of very percent stellar BC is a promising candidate for extraterrestrial life. So what's up with me today? I'm getting all these words all jumbled. So there it is. Nice. And obviously the stats were good as well, like you said. It's nice, yeah, it's got good stats there. So. Very nice. But, uh, you know, do you really want to colonise a world that close to a star like that? Because that star has not got, you know, not got the uh, legs on it. So, there we go. Has a little moon here, little patches of water on it, as you can see. Obviously, nowhere near as hatable as the parent, though. So, there you go. Next up, we got BD over here. From mass 1.5 times that of Earth and a radius 1.14 times larger, it has a dense atmosphere rich in sulfur dioxide and oxygen. This unique, this unique atmosphere composition, combined with the planet's proximity to its star, creates a challenging environment for life. The planet's two moons further complicate its environment, potentially influencing its climate and geological activity. Despite the harsh conditions, Stellar BD remains a fascinating world, offering valuable insights into the diversity of planetary systems. Let's have a little look underneath. There it is. Oh, yes. Nice. Very nice. Lots of moons. Moving on to, I think, the final world. Is it BE over here? We've got AB. Oh, sorry, so we did BC, we did BD. So there's no description for BE, but here it is. So as we can see, it looks to be a pretty ocean heavy world, as we can see. Yeah, pretty ocean heavy. Got, it's got some pole areas on it. Temperature wise, 20 degrees. So there's a. Yeah. For all your aquatics out there, you know, good. Uh, Probably a good place to be here. Decent size on it. There you go. Uh, there's one other object here. What's this? This is BD. Yeah, we did BD, sorry. Uh, we've got BF over here. Looks to be a Titan-like kind of world. Very Titan-coloured indeed. Regular rock underneath. Okay, cool. So that's all of the objects around the second star. But then there's one final object, which I'm guessing is here. Yeah, ABB. Pitch darkness, but it's a fascinating gas giant, once a rogue planet wandering the cosmos, captured by the gravitational pull of the binary star systems to the A and B. It now orbits both stars in an inaugurated 1.2 million years, and it is in pitch darkness forever. So there it is. Once that uh, red giant explodes, though, the orbits in that system would change pretty, uh, pretty dramatically, I'm guessing. So there it is. Looking good. So a, B, B. Nice. So there we are, everybody. That does it for the uh, stellar binary system. Quite enjoyed that, actually. Quite um, quite high levels of detail with the descriptions. We like that. That's always cool. Oh, there's the atmosphere of the... Uh, st there you go. The atmosphere is a separate object in this menu. See, this one, yeah, not the largest gas giant, was it? Because that had that large moon. Nice range of colour in here. Not too crazy, though. Yeah, I like it. So 
There we go. And yeah, I like the reading. The nice, you know, more little more on the scientific side of things. I like that rather than the fantasy side, which is cool. Yeah, I like I like the more technical side of things sometimes. So yeah, pretty awesome. But there we go. So again, a massive massive thank you to the creator of this system, Demos for sending this in hope you enjoyed it and yeah guys if you enjoyed the system let us know what you think down below in the comments and yeah that will send down nobody make sure you have a great day out there let's see if we can go for 50 likes for today's video as well subscribe helps on the journey to 50,000 subscribers and yeah that will send down like i said make sure you have a great day out there stay safe everyone and i'll see you in the next video goodbye